friends, how y'all doing? Happy Monday. Okay, so today I'm coming at you, excuse me, um, with a review and a reveal on this super cute uh, Fendi bag. It, it, I don't actually know the exact name of the bag, I just know that this line is the pink one. And if you go back to my channel, I think I did, um, I think I have a review on there on, um, well shoot, now I can't remember, but there is a little pink one piece that uh, I did a review on. I've been wanting to add a Fendi bag to my collection, and so I've kind of been on the hunt for one, just not really actively, I've just, you know, just kind of, you know, browse different sites and different things and just and just see what's what's out there. So I came across this, and I what drew me to it was its size, because, you know, I'm a big, a big bag gal, and so I really was drawn to the size. So the dimensions, speaking of which, are 15 inches wide by 12 inches tall, by seven inches deep and then the strap drop is 11 inches and so you know 11 inches is definitely you can see no problem meeting the elbow test no problem okay so it has okay so it has the leather detail obviously it has leather handles all right and then the leather detail goes down here and it does not go all the way around so it just goes down each side and then you know each pocket is trimmed with the leather the interior it's got the gold hardware, obviously. The interior pocket also has, you know, the leather detail around it. And the leather kind of reminds me of the Epi leather. So if you can visualize a Louis Vuitton Epi leather bag, that's what these pieces look like. I know, like, maybe in the video it just looks like it's wrinkled. No, it's it's the texture of the leather. It's like the Epi leather. So I'm just going to go with that. Um, okay, so here's the little um, authentic, I mean, authenticity plate. And oh, and here's the the number. Okay. Now I did find out too that another way to know, um, at least on this bag or on these types of bags, if the bag is authentic, is they have Fendi sewn into the lining. Okay, so so you can see it. See these little there it is. Fendi. Oh, is that upside down? Yeah, it is. Sorry. So it's just kind of sewn throughout, and so it's really sharp. And so you know the color scheme of this is like kind of black and gold almost I don't know maybe no gold's probably not it's not it's not quite that yellow it's gonna be like more of a I don't know I guess kind of a brown um, but even that kind of doesn't look you know well okay yeah let's just go with that black and brown so and then it's got the gold hardware, hardware like I said and so you can see Fendi here on the side of these and then what else did I show you oh okay so it's here on the uh, the leather pull is obviously, um, or also epi leather, and then it has this little, the F's, and then underneath, well, excuse me, in my banana hands, and then you've got the little snap right there. So this particular bag was in great shape, because the problem that I have is, you know, finding bags, not really with Fendi, but just in general, you know, the condition that I want at the price that I want. And so, as you know, the better the condition then the more expensive it is, even though the bag may not necessarily be one that's, you know, highly sought after, you know what I'm saying? And so like for me, I'm always looking at bottom corners and this one has absolutely no wear on any of the corners, okay? So when I first saw the bag, I thought that it was more of a coated canvas um, because I did, oh yeah, I, okay, I remember the bag that I, that I reviewed. It's a Boston bag. It's a Fendi Boston bag in the Pequin line. And, and it was a coated canvas, but this is, isn't. It's, and I don't want to say it's cloth, but it's definitely a hardy material, and I'm not exactly sure. I don't even want to say that it's canvas, although I guess it could be. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it's not a coated canvas. So you would really have to be careful, you know, like for me, this could not be a daily carry. I am too hard on my bags um, for this to be, I say hard, okay. No, I'm not. First of all, I'm, I homeschool, so I'm home the majority of the time. I get out to take my kids to dance and then pick them up. So my bag literally goes from the little bench that I have it on in the house to the front seat of my car or the floorboard and then back again. And then if I go to the store, if I don't use the pickup, you know, option and I go into the store for a second, it usually stays on my shoulder. If it doesn't, it just sits in the little basket. So. I guess I, I was incorrect by saying that I'm hard on my bags, but I guess I would just be concerned that because this is more of a clothy material, I just, and it doesn't have any feet or anything, I just really would not, you know, I would just be concerned about it. But again, it is a hardy material, so it's not like, you know, it's gonna tear or anything, but okay, so here's the deal. 
it is super floppy as you can see it's not you know super floppy okay and you can tell I want I want to show you I'm, I'm pointing this out to you because you can change the look of this bag and I'm going to show you how so right now you can see how it's like this okay you have the little sides snapped down and it looks like this and it's super cute okay and I want to show you okay first I'm just gonna put the items in here like this and then I'm gonna show you how you completely change the look of the bag so I already accumulated my little Fendi uh, cosmetic pouches so I only have two I have that one and then I have another pink one okay so here's an example this is coated canvas that is what I thought this was okay so I was kind of I mean I was a little disappointed when I got it and I was like oh dang no okay so unless you use a bag organizer your stuff you're gonna have to organize your items in this bag with bags bags in your bags so I've got those two pouches that I just showed you and then you know my pen case and then I have my uh, calendar that I use and then I just this is not the phone that I use but it's a 6 plus and I'm actually gonna put it on the outside and it look it goes all the way down so here's the bottom right here so this is a generous pocket okay and you can even zip it just for you know for safety you can zip that and then so I have my readers but I'm not gonna put them in here just yet because I'm gonna wait until the last the last thing and then put them in this side pocket okay and then I have my little Fendi wallet and is that it oh okay well yeah okay that's it so that's all I have so you can see it's just super slouchy actually I'm not gonna put my readers in here just because you know I would put them in the interior pocket but just because I'm showing you I'm just gonna leave them out so this is how this looks like I said it has a generous strap drop 11 inches okay and you know it's super cute you're not gonna have any trouble accessing this from your shoulder it's um, it's a I would just consider this like a floppy tote okay because again of the material it's not structured at all there's absolutely no structure to this bag so you would if you want to have structure in it you would get, you would have to use a bag organizer okay so this is how it looks without a bag organizer and um, if I set it down you know it's not gonna necessarily flop over but it's not you know it's not just gonna be well that's just how it is it's not compl I have had bags in the past where um, it was actually a duty and Burke purse and I know I did a review on that bag but as soon as you set it down like the whole thing just went bloop and it doesn't it's not that bad so at least it does have again because the material is you know more of a, a firm material so it is gonna at least sit like this okay so the way that you can change the shape all right is you unsnap these and then it looks like a regular um, sorry and then it looks like a regular tote look see so now you have a regular looking tote bag okay now it's gonna look even more like a tote when I put my bag organizer in it but anyway here's how it looks just with your bags you know completely unorganized on the inside well it's good enough for me because it just has you know I like it because you can just throw everything in there it's definitely you know tote worthy because it's it's plenty of space in here you can access it from your shoulder you can just throw things in there you don't have to worry about having assigned spots for your stuff okay but it if this is too much floppy for you then let's go with the bag organizer and the only one that I have no I actually have two but the one that I got that I grabbed to show you is the one that I use by original by original club thank you and it's similar to the Samorga organizers it's the you know heavy-duty felt and um, it was for, it's for my speedy 40 and I know you can also use it in um, the uh, never full GMs they fit in that too but it will fit in here and so okay so now I have the bag organizer inside here okay and then I can still just put everything you know just kind of back I do like the fact that it can be a little more organized with the organizer even though I have all these little bags in my bags I kind of do like having I kind of forget I haven't used a bag organizer in a while I kind of forgot how much I enjoy having assigned spots you know like this in here and then okay so a regular size water bottle because there is a little water bottle um, you know spot in here so I have that and then I have these two little pouches and they're just gonna go in the middle okay and then on the other side I can have this actually standing up because there's a little spot over here for that and my readers are you know really pretty protected because they're so there's a little slot all the way around the bag organizer so I can just pick any one and I think I actually put like a hand sanitizer in one 
and I put my gum in one. And so, oh, and then I have like my little, you know, about my, my coupons and I can put them on the outside. Okay. So anyway, so now look, so now it looks like a regular, just like regular, almost like a, I don't want to say beach tote because you know, beach totes are huge. This is not huge. Well, I guess to some of you it is, but it's not that type of tote. So now you've got some structure with it. And um, again, everything's still the same. It just looks more like a tote and it's still big. I mean, seven inches deep. That's, that's the depth of a speedy. So it's definitely got a lot of room to it. Like I said, you can still access it from your shoulder. I didn't even put anything inside of my interior pocket that's in the bag. Okay, everything is just in the organizer. See, so I have my, those two pouches I showed you, my readers, water, my wallets back here with my little notebook and then my pen case. And then like I said, now it just looks like a regular a regular tote. Now, let me go ahead and snap this back down because you can still leave the organizer in there while you have these snapped down and then it just looks like a little more, you know, structured bag. And oh yeah, that's cute too. Okay, I actually for me I actually kind of like this look better. But yeah, you got this in there and really because the bag itself is not heavy Putting the organizer in here does not make it heavier, okay? It's still not, um, you know, a super heavy bag just by itself, but then when you add this, it's not. Because, you know, like if you add that, once you add this organizer to like a speedy, I mean, it kind of adds a little bit of weight to it, in my opinion. So, anyway, I have the bag organizer in here. You can see that it totally just like puffs up the bag, makes it look like it's got a lot more structure, you know, set it down, and it just, it looks like this is how the bag should be. So again, if, if it's too much floppy for you, then you definitely would want to go with a bag organizer. This bag organizer might be just a tad too big. Um, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not. You could probably get the one smaller. I know that this one from Original Club is the one that they recommend for a Speedy 40, and it works fine. It does, it, it totally works fine. But I know that, like let's say you've got one that they recommend for the Speedy 35, that one would probably be a happy medium, I think, for this bag. So. Anyway, um, this is cute. I Again, I love the style of the bag. I love the colors of the bag. I love everything about the bag except that it's not coated. And that's the only thing that I think is going to keep me from being able to keep it because I really, you know, again, this little pouch right here, well, I guess originally it was a, a little crossbody, but um, I took the I took the strap off, you know, it was just one big long strap. I took that off and I just use it as a little pouch. And, and again, it's the same, it's the peak one, but it's coated. It's got the coated canvas and, you know, I, I just, I prefer that. I prefer that just, you know, to keep it clean. I don't want to, that's another thing. Unless you put some scotch guard on this, you'd probably have to be really careful about getting stains on it or whatever. So, you know, for some people it could totally work. For me, I, um... I have banana hands, you know, I'm like a bull in a china closet, and so I'm pretty sure that I would somehow stain the bag, which is another reason why I wouldn't want to keep it even for a short time, because then I would stain it, and then I would want to sell it, and then I wouldn't be able to because it'd have a nasty stain on it, and I don't want that. So again, this bag is in excellent shape. There is nowhere to any of the corners. Whoever had it probably used it for like a fancy occasion and then just stuck it up in their closet and it just sat there. Even the leather, look, everything is perfect on here. The only thing that I would say might need a touch up is maybe just the uh, edge coat. I mean the uh, glazing, you know, I say edge coat because that's what you use, but the glazing might need a little touch up. But other than that, everything is securely fastened. Nothing is loose from the, uh, the D rings here from the hardware. Zippers are perfect. Gosh, it's such a cute bag. I'm so, I'm kind of disappointed because I really was hoping to keep it. But like I said, I can't do I can't do like clothy material. I just, I can't. I'm too much of a hot mess to do that. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.